guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming a very exciting collaboration video with my friend here on YouTube, Morgan Turner. She recently featured me on her April Favorites video as one of her new favorite YouTube channels to watch and I was very honored. I really, really like Morgan's content so I'm gonna go ahead and link her channel as well as this collaboration video down in my description box so please make sure you guys go ahead and check that out. Let her know that I sent you, that would totally make both of our days. So today's video is going to be a bit of a challenge. This is the first letter challenge or something like that. I saw Kathleen Lights film this video and I thought it was such a fun idea. Definitely a little bit different for me. You guys know I don't usually do challenge type videos, so this should be pretty fun. I decided to focus on Kaleidos. You guys know I love Kaleidos makeup and I recently showed the Deep Sea Luster palette in a video and you guys went nuts for that. So here is a look at this again. And I think I'm gonna film with the VR Neon palette. This was one of their like summer launches of last year. I believe these are still available, correct me if I'm wrong. I'll definitely link these down in my description box for you guys as well. But I saw a really beautiful look with this palette on their Instagram. So I was totally inspired by that look on their Instagram page, so I'm gonna attempt to recreate it in this video. Now, I have every Kaleidos palette that they have come out with so far, and I am so happy to be featuring them in this challenge video. I feel like they are the one brand I really miss during quarantine, because I feel like they would have definitely had like a spring launch coming up. They are a Asian American brand, so I believe half their team is based in the US and then the other half is based in China. So really glad to see that they are kind of coming back and I had talked to their social media person on Instagram and just checked up on them and they said they were doing good and their team's doing good. So that makes me really happy and I can't wait for their comeback because I really miss this brand. They just do so many fun makeup products. So. Basically, the look I saw had like a pop of green in the inner corner, which I thought looked so cool. So I'm just building that up with this little Wayne Goss eyeshadow brush. I think that looks pretty bright and bold, kind of how I wanted it to look. Now I'm going to grab a... Oh, I can grab a Kaleidos brush. So they do have eye brushes as well. These are so nice. And I'm going to go into the yellow shade. So the rest of the eye look I saw was kind of like a sunset vibe, so I definitely don't want to lose the green in the inner corner, so I'm trying to be really careful. Okay, so next I'm going to go into the orange. Ooh, I like this. Okay, and then I need to sneak in a little bit of the red-orange shade here. So I'm going to go into this with another brush and just lightly tap the corally shade on. Okay, I love that. Next, I'm going to go into this orange shade. It's the shimmery orange, and I'm kind of going into the first half. I think I'm going to need to wet my brush with this. Okay, so now that I have that shade down, I kind of want to go into the pink. And they had kind of tapped that on to the outer corner. Okay. Going back into the red coral shade. I'm gonna tap that back on just to brighten it back up. Go back into the yellow. And then finally, I'm gonna try and intensify that green some more. Okay, I'm gonna leave it like this before it gets too crazy, even though this is a lot of color already. And I'm gonna clean up the under eye and then I will be right back to show you guys some of the face products I'm going to apply. Okay guys, so I cleaned off my under eyes because there was a lot of gold glitter down there. And today we are gonna use the Kosas 
tinted face oil. This is like a, it is a foundation. It's like a light to medium. This is my first time using it on camera. I used it on my face the other day to work and I thought this was really cool. So this is pretty freaking low maintenance. You kind of squeeze it onto your face and then you blend it in with your hand, which is pretty insane, right? Like, this is so like great for quick, on-the-go women, which honestly, I have time usually to do my makeup in the morning, but not everyone does, and sometimes I don't really make time for it either. I'd rather sleep in than do my makeup. So this gives you like a nice layer of coverage, I feel like. Like light coverage. But do you guys see, feel like there's a difference? I feel like there's a difference. And it lasts pretty well too. I felt like I got really good wear out of it. So yeah, it's lightweight, absorbs into the skin. It's a new year and I'm doing all kinds of things. I never thought I would just put my foundation on with my hand, but here we are. And so then, next I'm gonna use the Kosas Concealer. This is a pretty new product for them as well. And since the foundation is pretty light, I'm gonna put it on a little extra extra than I would have if I was wearing a different foundation, like a actual foundation, not a tinted oil. So I just kind of dotted that on to look real cute. And so I'm just gonna grab my concealer brush and blend that in. One of my favorite things about the Kosas line is everything looks so glowy and dewy and wonderful. Now, if I was going to work or something, I would probably set my face. But since I have no plans to leave the house, I'm just going to leave it like this so it's nice and dewy. Plus, I don't really have a powder that starts with the letter K anyway. So next, I'm going to use the Kosas Bronzer. This is in the shade Medium. I'm obsessed with this. If you watch any of my videos in the last few weeks, you've seen me just rave and rave and rave about this product. This is just going to make my already dewy, glowy skin even glowier. So I'm a happy camper. I feel like a sheeny goddess. Next we're going to do blush and I have this amazing Kosas Cream Blush and this is in the shade Helios. This is a Kosas website exclusive and I'm just applying it with this brush. It's a synthetic brush and it works really well with the cream products. In case you guys are looking for an affordable cream product brush recommendation. I'm not really big on applying products with my hand. Yes, I did the foundation with my hand, but I think for cream products, cheek products, I prefer to use a brush because I feel like I can be more precise, if that makes sense to anyone that's curious. Okay, I definitely feel very blushed up. I'm gonna go in with this side now just to add more glow. It's like a highlighter as well as a blush, so I'm just gonna kinda put that on my apples of my cheeks and then drag it up. I went ham on the Kosas cream products during the VIB sale and I bought all three shades that they sell on Sephora. Cause this one is a Kosas exclusive, but they sell three on both websites. And since I could get a discount on Sephora, I bought the rest of them from Sephora. So I feel like I, you know, got a good deal there. Okay, so really quick, let's do some eyeliner. The only eyeliner I have that starts with the letter K is the Kim Kardashian eyeliner in the shade Rust. And I got this from her Fire Something collection. So let's go ahead and put that on. I think this will work with my look because it's like a rusty orange terracotta. Such a beautiful eyeliner shade, actually. And I'm just tucking that into my waterline. And then I want to go in with some 
eyeshadow just to kind of jazz up this look so I think I want to go in with some of the green as well but let's start on the outer corner go into that terracotta shade and pull that in whoever figures out how to do lower lash line work without opening their mouth is a genius because I swear I still want to open my mouth like a like a toad sometimes okay I am going a little dramatic because it's color and it's fun. And then I want to add some of the green, so I'm going to go into this green shade and pop that in the inner corner. Kind of drag that into the red shade. Have I mentioned to you guys that green is like my favorite color ever? <laughs> okay, so next let's do my lip quick. I have some Kim Kardashian and Kylie products. I have a Kim gloss, but I couldn't find it anywhere. So first I'm going to go in to her lip liner. This is her, her artist and muse collection. I never really wear lip liners, so I don't really know what I'm doing. Her lip pencils are so creamy. I like that color. Okay, and then I have this nude lip call. He's a mixer. That was really buttery. Wow, I had forgotten how buttery that was. That's impressive. And then my favorite Kylie gloss. This is in the shade Like. Mm, I bought these glosses when Kylie originally launched glosses. And I love her gloss formula, I must say. Okay, this is definitely neuter than I usually like to wear. But that's okay. I have to make it work because it needs to start with the letter K. So now that I have basically my whole face on, I feel very naked without my mascara and my brows done. So I'm going to do that off camera and I will be right back to show you guys the final look. Okay guys, so here is the final look. I am so happy with how this turned out and I'm so thankful that I had enough products to get by here. It was a bit of a struggle. I did contemplate buying Kat Von D, mascara, eyeliner, brow product to really be able to pull this off, but it's not really something I was interested in, so I'm like, I'm not gonna buy more products just to, you know, do this challenge and to be able to say that I only use products that started with the letter K, so I think I did the best I could. I really like how this eyeshadow look turned out, and if you guys are curious about anything on my face, I will link all the details down in my description box. I am going to try and get better at that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this first letter challenge. Really quick, I do want to remind you guys again, this video is a collab. So please go ahead and check out Morgan Turner's channel. You guys probably already know who she is because her channel is awesome. She talks a lot about luxury makeup and she's just so beautiful and does the most amazing makeup looks and she's got the most beautiful curly hair and I just really really enjoy her. She seems like such a sweetheart and I'm so happy that we were able to do this collaboration. Thank you guys so so much for watching this video and I hope to see you guys in my next one soon.